first we are going to put on the color. What the heck? Is it supposed to look like this? I need to look this up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. If you are a TikTok user, you have probably seen makeup products go viral all of the time. I even have purchased a few makeup products that have gone viral on TikTok. I got this Essence Lash Princess because of TikTok, and I got this Becca Under Eye Corrector because of TikTok, and what I'm really a sucker for are lip products. I mean, quite frankly, I don't need any more lip products, but like, people on TikTok just make these products look so good and they make you want to try them so badly so I just you know I had to so after doing some research and after just writing down what I have seen myself on TikTok I came up with a list of some lip products that I really want to try the one that you guys have probably all heard of is the NYX shine loud lipstick that's the one that you first put on the wash of color and then you put on this gloss and it's supposed to be kind of like a stain I think and stay for a really long time it's always the TikTok is always people being like like showing you that it doesn't transfer. My cat wants to come in. Welcome. Next, which I haven't seen too many TikToks of is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I've heard great things about that lip gloss though. I know that is a really popular lip gloss among like YouTube beauty gurus, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people say that that lip gloss is really similar to the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and that's kind of why it went viral. And then there is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. That's just supposed to be a really nice lip oil that looks like a gloss, makes your lips look so shiny. And then finally is the Essence Kiss the Black Sheep Lipstick. Um, I don't even know the correct like science behind it so I'm not gonna sit here and try to describe it to you but when you put it on, it's like a black lipstick and then it just kind of adjust to your lips perfect shade and I'm sure there's so many more but those are just some of the most viral ones I'm pretty sure so that's what I have written down TikTok is so so powerful and you know products will sell out so I'm gonna go ahead to Ulta and take you guys with me and let's see what we can find So I just made it to Ulta, so let's see what they have. Fingers crossed they have some of the lip products on my list. I really hope that they aren't sold out. back home now and I thought I would do a little haul for you guys just to show you what I ended up picking up. I went through that store like 50 times in and out of the aisles because I didn't want to miss something um, and I got basically everything that I mentioned I'm pretty sure so I found the Ulta Beauty juice infused lip oil and then I got the Maybelline lifter gloss and I got the shade moon I'm really really excited to try this this is probably the one I'm most excited to try then they did have the NYX shine loud lipsticks but the only ones left were this bright red color and then like a blue color so I chose this red one and you know it's not my first choice but I, I wear red lipstick sometimes so who knows I might actually like this so I'm just happy that they had it there I thought it would be completely sold out and last but not least I searched high and low for the essence kiss the black sheep lipstick and they did not have it there but I did find this lipstick queen frog prince green lipstick which I've also seen on tiktok as well and this is kind of similar what this is supposed to do is give your lips the their perfect shade of pink and so it's a green lipstick, but when you put it on, it's supposed to just give your lips like their perfect pink color. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but you know, it's still, I'll still give it a go. So these are all of the lip products that I got and I am so excited to test them out for you guys. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so first I think we should moisturize the lips and use the lip oil first. So this Ulta lip oil and I got the scent coconut was $9. 
smells like coconut which i love perfect for summer they had lots of different scents to choose from and i didn't know that i thought it was just like a lip oil but they actually had quite a few and so maybe if i like this i'll pick up another scent but let's go ahead and apply it It's like slightly thick like a gloss. I don't know, it's like a glossy oil. I love the way that that looks. It just fills in all the lines on your lips and just makes them look hydrated and plump and juicy. I could see myself using this kind of in the place of a clear gloss because I do have pretty dry skin and dry lips. So I really enjoy really nourishing products. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of like the Tower 28 clear lip gloss, but this is obviously like an oil but it kind of has that same feeling almost so yeah i really like this one i would give it like honestly 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 i don't see anything wrong with this product it's just a product that's right up my alley nourishing glossy smooths out the lines on your lips is comfortable like it ticks all the boxes for me so i think this is worth the hype if you were looking for like a comfortable gloss or lip oil like i don't want to take it off that's how nice it just it feels on the lips and it smells so good I don't want to take this off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the Maybelline Lifter Gloss next, which I have been wanting to try this for so long, but I just never picked it up. So this lip gloss was $8.99. If this is comparable to the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, then I think it is definitely worth $8.99. So let's go ahead and try this out. Again, I got the shade Moon. Gotta do the smell test. <laughs> Doesn't smell like the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. It definitely feels similar to the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm though. And this color is just stunning. This is one of my favorite types of colors to wear in the spring and summer. Just that pinky nude color that's just so flattering on so many different skin tones. So this is what it looks like. I love this lip gloss. The scent isn't my favorite. I definitely prefer the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm scent, but it isn't like a bad scent. Again, right up my alley. It smooths out all the lines in your lips and just makes them look so good. I don't know if it's because of the makeup wipe that I used or if I'm kind of licking the gloss a little bit, but it doesn't taste that great. But, you know, you're not supposed to eat it anyway, so that shouldn't matter. But upon first impression, I really like this lip gloss and I could see myself using it all of the time. I see why it's so hyped on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. I feel like everyone, when this came out, was raving about this gloss and I can definitely see why. Should I do a comparison? I feel like I should do a comparison. So I don't have the Universal Glow Shade, but I do have the shade Fussy. Yeah, I like the smell of this so much more. But as you can see, they look pretty dang identical. We have Fenty on the top and then Maybelline on the bottom. What do you guys think? I definitely think that it is a dupe, but the smell of the Fenty Beauty one, so much better. Okay, so next we have the Lip Queen Mini Frog Prince Lipstick. This was $12. So it is an emerald green lipstick that transforms to a petal pink and it's supposed to be your lips own perfect shade of pink so as you can see it's like this green dark green lipstick i guess let's just go ahead and put it on i can definitely see it kind of getting darker it's definitely really nourishing and really comfortable but as you can see it's kind of getting very pinky i mean it says your perfect shade of petal pink so i don't know if i like this color i don't know if it's my perfect shade of pink it kind of almost has like a berry tone to it like it's a pretty color but i think it's slightly too dark and it's slightly too like purpley pink it's not like a natural your lips but better kind of look i don't know what do you guys think comment down below what you think of this shade so let me know if you have this lipstick and if it actually gave you like your perfect shade of pink if you love it 
because I don't know how I feel about it. I'm so glad we did this last because I think the red is gonna cover up how pink my lips are now. So for the last viral TikTok product, we have the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick in the shade World Shaper. And as you can see, it is like a bright red. So this was $11.50. This comes with two sides. So first we are going to put on the color. What the heck? Is it supposed to look like this? Is this the applicator? This can't be the applicator. Okay, where's my phone? I need to look this up. Okay, so I did some research and the applicator is not supposed to look like this, but I think something just happened to mine. You know, it's fine. We'll work with what we got. So let's just go ahead and apply this and see if it's worth the hype with this applicator. <laughs> this just looks so funny to me. Right now it's not very comfortable on the lips, honestly. It's kind of sticky and tacky, so I'm gonna wait till this dries and then put on the clear gloss end of it. But the color is really pretty, I think. So this says, no smudge, no bleed, no fade. You can kiss, drink, hair flip, and even wear it under your mask. Simply pair the ultra pigmented base coat with the ultra glossy and non-sticky top coat infused with vitamin E for the loudest shine you've ever seen. So let's go ahead and put on the topper. Definitely feels oily, not sticky, not glossy even. It's just really smooth. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So this top coat is supposed to lock the pigment in. So now let's do the test that everyone on TikTok does where you kind of like kiss your finger and see if the pigment shows. So Okay, so here are what my fingers look like. They kind of just look glossy. So if you're someone who wants something that's super long lasting, then I think this is the product for you. I don't think it's my, like something I would reach for every day, even if this was a more wearable shade. I just prefer something like the Maybelline Lifter Gloss or just like a simple lip oil, but I definitely think it's pretty and it seems like it's gonna be super long wearing. Like the fact that you can just touch it and it doesn't go anywhere is pretty dang awesome so hey guys just a little update this isn't coming off when they say long wear they really mean long wear so just want to give you a heads up i can definitely see why this product was so hyped on tiktok especially for people who like stuff that is super super long wearing but yeah those are all of the tiktok lip products i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have tried any of these products down below and what you think about them, um, if you think they're worth the hype. This was a lot of fun for me to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out all of the links down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.